Hello everyone, and hopefully you have got to this video on time uh, to be able to get back those precious memories from your GoPro uh, SD card. So to make a long story short, what happened to me was I had about 50 gigs of data on my uh, 64 gig SanDisk GoPro, uh, sorry, SanDisk Extreme Plus card in my GoPro, and I basically tried to import it into my Mac using the GoPro importer, and for some reason, I checked off delete all files after import. And that was basically so I could just get my camera ready to start doing some recording. Unfortunately, all the files did not get captured. And I was left with uh, a card with no more files left on it. So here it is. I am now using a Windows to be able to recover these files. I went online, spent about two, three days um, trying different various try before you buy programs and all that sort of stuff, looked on online through the different search engines and to figure out, you know, is there anything that's going to help me undelete these files. And you know what, I pretty much almost gave up until I came across uh, an, an application which I'm going to show you shortly. But anyway, here is my 64 gig uh, SanDisk Extreme Plus card and you can see these are the files, these are all the hidden files left on the card. And you will see this is the folder that the GoPro is going to store the data on. And as you can see, their folder is empty. So there's nothing on here anymore. All right, so if we go over here, you start seeing 59.3 out of 59.3. So pretty much there's nothing left on this card. So what you want to do is let's go online and we're going to download this application. So what I did is uh, did a couple of different uh, searches, but the name of the program that we're looking for is Test Disk. So we're going to go here, we're going to open up this utility, and then you're going to go, depending on your operating system, of course, for me, here's the Windows uh, one that I used. So once you've downloaded the file, uh, a folder is going to show up on your desktop, and here it is, Test Disk is right over here. Let's open up that folder and we're going to launch the application. Here is test disk. All right, let's launch the application. And this menu is going to pop up over here. So let me just move this out of the way. Let's go over here and we're going to create. We want to create a new log file. So just click enter to create a new file. And this uh, menu or option is going to show up over here. So the first thing I always, you know, looked at was I was looking at the drive E, which is which is my basic, you know, basically my SD card, and you know every program that I've tried to use is is accessing it through drive E, and unfortunately, um, nothing shows up. It says either there's no files or the uh, the directory is corrupted or something along those lines, and I have a feeling because the card itself is XFAT and the folder itself is uh, NTFS. That's what it seems like. Um, I could be wrong, but that's, you know, where, where I, I realize the situation. So, you know, let me just show you what happens. So if you click on Drive E and you click on Proceed, you know, we want to go up to this Intel section over here. We're going to go to Advanced and you'll see it says no partition available. So that's where I was kind of getting stuck before. I couldn't figure out. I'm like, you know, I see the card. You know, here it is. It's working. The card's working. It's not corrupt. There's nothing there, but it doesn't see anything. See the folder's empty. So, you know, let's go back here. Let's go to uh, the beginning of it. And uh, what you want to click on is right here, physical drive one. Okay, so you can see it's 63 gig. That's the same as this one down here. Click on this. Let's go to proceed. We're gonna go select the Intel uh, PC partition and then go down to advanced. It's the file system we're looking for. And here it is. This is what you're, this is the folder you're basically looking for, okay? And if you, if you uh, at the bottom over here, here's the option, undelete. And that's exactly what I've been trying to find is, I knew there was always a way to, you know, if you've accidentally deleted a file, there's gotta be a way to get it back. All the other programs, they had that option, but for some reason it wasn't picking it up. And I have a feeling because of this, this uh, XFAT and NTFS folder, I could be wrong, but this is what it seems like to me. Anyways, let's click on undelete. And this whole uh, file structure is going to show up over here, all the folders over here. And the one you're looking for is DCIM. So you can see here's the folder, here's the size, and back from it's all the way back from April uh, 11, 2014, where I had all my files in here. So again, folder is empty over here on this side. On this side, let's click on this folder. And here it is. This is the folder you're looking for. Red means that it was deleted. Okay, so we want to get into this folder, basically enter. And here are all the files. So this is about 50 gigs of my data that I had lost because of a simple mistake of 
you know, um, using the GoPro program and, you know, selecting uh, delete after import. Uh, I never usually do it. I just got lazy this time uh, and mainly because I wanted to, you know, have my GoPro ready right away. If you got one file or two files, you know, it's not a big deal. But when you have this much data, uh, you don't want to take any chances. I probably would never use that function again. I'll probably make sure that I've copied all my files over properly and, you know, verify it before I actually go and format the card again or, or you know, delete all the files on the card. So let's take an example over here, right? Let me move this out of the way. Let's go and pick on here. Here's a, 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 a MP4 file. Uh, it's uh, the GoPro file number 17 over here. What you want to do is a couple of options over here. You can either select everything or just select the file that you want to restore. In our case, let's just select the file we want to restore. We're going to click uh, C to copy. It is going to ask you for a directory. Where would you like to copy this file? In, uh, in my case, let me just put it on the desktop. So here's the actual directory. We're going to use the back arrow to go to the desktop directory. And then after you've chosen your directory, it says uh, press on C to if the destination is correct. So in our case, let's click C. And it says copying, please wait. Copy done, one OK, zero failed. And if you notice, here it is. This is the DCIM folder. We double click on it. You will see the GoPro folder. Double click on that and here's the file. So I hope uh, this little tutorial helps you recover those precious memories. Uh, this totally made a big difference for me and all the credit goes to uh, the test disk uh, application. All right guys, so thank you so much and uh, happy recovering.